All right. So now that I've wailed, let us abdicate. Abdicate. And, oh, we are in a brilliant spot. I could just start with the faceless heritage. Why not? Okay. Uh, let's go elven trade. Grab all of these. Buy all upgrades. Keep buying all upgrades. And then, ba bam Okay, I'll just leave Moon Blessing on. I'm not actually sure what I'm going for with the Elves, necessarily. But it does speed me along decently well. Let's take a look at this. Extreme amounts of luck. Got it. Perfectly shaped four-leaf clover. Each leaf is almost unnatur unnaturally identical to the other three. To the other three. I don't know what that does for me, though. But I, I have it. Okay, let's grab each one of these. And then let's just kind of chill. I might even want to abdicate sooner than later. Now that we've grab, grabbed that. Wait, I got this speedrun achievement? Did I? Uh, let's see. Gosh, that is... Not gonna happen. Okay. Well, I've already got a ton, so let's abdicate again. I'm just abdicating at light speed. Proof of evil deed... Go demons. Because the biggest issue with demons is just their initial faction coin chance is abysmal. But by whaling, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. And let's turn on Hellfire Blast. There we go. Now, do we have enough mana that I can do both Hellfire Blast and Blood Frenzy? I don't think so. I think they're close, but I, I don't think we can actually get both. Boy, she got pri- Oh, she got pricey because it goes up to a fair bit. We're, we're mostly waiting for the faction coins to roll in so I can actually get the, uh, the neutral factions. How much does it cost to get the dwarves? E to the 45. Oof. Okay, maybe don't do that. Maybe we just keep abdicating at the E to the 12th until I can uh, catch back up. Either that or we actually do do Hellfire Blast and Blood Frenzy simultaneously. Have you heard of the Wandering Village? You mean the Wandering Village? Yes, I got a video on it on YouTube. Always check there. Twitch is not very reliable for checking if I know anything. One, because people asking me repeatedly usually gets, uh, drives me a little nutty. Let's see. No, it looks like I kind of can actually have both of those kind of going pseudo simultaneously. Nice. Definitely going to be a little slow along the way. But yeah, uh, the issue is, like with Twitch, the VODs drop off. And I don't always put everything I record up on Twitch. You know, I, I'm not streaming every every moment of my day. So there's a number of days where I just, like, roll out of bed and I'm like, I'm going to try out a bunch of random new indie games. It's usually my kind of modus operandi nowadays. I, I don't know. I'm trying to just jam in as much as I can. That, and I'm trying to finish Endwalker. <laughs> not quick. Okay, we're almost 25k. I don't actually know if the neutral factions are going to be that much better. Let's see, I see you switch to scientific notation. Any reason? Faster. I... Because what is engineering notation? Oh, engineering is, uh... It's just down by... By one digit. I... Uh... Once you get past... Uh, you know, octillions and nonillions and stuff like that. It starts getting a little silly looking. Um, and I don't know, from my from my perspective, I was just starting to lose the script a little bit. Uh, once you get too high of number, because then it's just like, was this was this actually a? I don't want to say was this good. But I, I just ended up so disconnected that it didn't matter. Do any of these guys give me faction co 
points. No, it doesn't really look like it. But I might as well stick around until we get them. Oh, because I haven't even got the faction coin boosts. It's still worth it, though. Because yeah, that is production of all buildings based on the highest amount of buildings purchased. Then that's just Royal Exchange production bonus, which doesn't help me because I don't have any. I'll just grab that even if it's not that helpful. And we're just waiting on demon coins. Which would make sense why I'm low on those. Okay. That should boost my money up a fair bit. Let's see. I saw you were getting just getting into the Sextillion a couple of streams ago. Now you're E to the 32. Yeah. Uh, reincarnating helped. Wailing helped. Let's see. So I might be able to get up to the drow on this one, but I, I think I'm just going to wait until my abdication counter slows down a little bit, and then we'll abdicate. Because I go reasonably fast with all of these running. That's why I use scientific too. Eventually the name stopped meaning anything to me, so I just switched to raw numbers. Yup. I think that's a fine way to do it. Okay. Just trying to remember what's practical. What's its speed? It's it's slowing down. Let's abdicate. Okay. Let's try elves again. Because elves should be a lot faster. Especially with the extra faction uh, coin gain. Their only immediate problem is their lack of mana. Though it's looking a little better already. Okay. We want to just do Moon Blessing. Because I believe Moon Blessing is just better. I'll turn on Holy Light just in case you can somehow get both of them. But it seems unlikely. I could actually see... No! I can't get both. Nice. I could actually see the potential for doing um, Call to Arms and Moon Blessing together instead. Because that might be a little faster. Here. Uh, I guess that was not as practical as I thought it was going to be. Oh well. Let's see where it... We're already at E to the 14th. So it, it does seem like speed abdicating is the way to do it. It comes off as a little weird, uh, just because it's like, you know, why would you abdicate now? You're still gaining a little bit. And the answer is, yeah, but it's slow. But if I abdicate again, then it'll speed up a little bit. <sighs> Main question is just, is this faster? As it's certainly working. It's going to take me a long time. Actually, is it? Eh, yeah, no, it is, it is going to take me a long time to get up to 1e e to the 30th. In terms of gems. I don't even know. I guess it seems to be a little bit less than half of my current income. I'm not sure what the formula is for it. It wasn't there a speed abdication trophy. I think I already got that one. It's like f abdicate five or ten times in a minute. Yeah, do I... Do I get more of a bonus? Hmm. Because your earlier it was a little easier because I I could just kind of speed on, but because of the boost I've I've skipped it a, a chunk, so I'm kind of in this weird middle ground, where I haven't built up enough gems. Uh, to really get the money or, like, really get the income going, and therefore I can't buy anything for a while. But I'm no longer in that kind of low B doldrum, so I don't have to wait too long to do anything useful. 
Uh, hmm. Now let's let's keep speed abdicating. I don't think we want to do fairies though. I think fairies are the one that's probably not the most practical. I'm just I'm just gonna keep going with whatever has the most amount of gain. And every time we we get a uh, a gem bonus, we just immediately abdicate for a little bit more. Did I get the balance trophy? Play the same with each faction. No. I, um... Let's see. So, I think that's... Is that an all-time or is that a per-reincarnation? Because it has to be... You have to play for like 24 hours or something like that. Like, it's it's not quick. If you can find the numbers for me, I could maybe work towards it, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, I need, I need 24 hours per faction. That's hard. It's doable. Let's see. 24 good, 24 neutral, 24 evil, and then have them within three minutes of each other. I feel like I could do that, but it would require an, um, an absurd amount of prep in a way that I might not be the most comfortable with. I'm just going to spend all my angel coins for a big boost. Holy shit. Okay, the angels are just swimming in coins. So we might want to just abdicate as the angels a lot. Let's see. Hello, your realm grinder videos have drawn me back into the game. Decided to play a fresh game with you to get used to it again. As this side, if you're dedicated to playing it like an active game, you can be at R20 plus by now. I don't think so. I don't think I could be at R20 plus by this point. I think there's just not enough man hours. Unless I was putting my only time into it. Maybe I could, but it would have been a pain. Grab all of these. But also, what, like, what is the point of telling me that to some degree? It's like, you could be further. Sure. Okay. Do I abdicate again? No, I'm growing. Like, once my abdication slows down a little bit more, then I'll probably stop and move on. If... I think the trick is, if we're still going up pretty quickly for the uh, the first, like, point digits, maybe it's worth holding off. Because right now, as long as Holy Light, Call to Arms, and God's Hand are all running simultaneously, we can zip through this pretty quick. I don't think we're going to be able to get to, uh... I don't think we're going to be able to get to the Dwarves this round, but I, we might be really close on the next one. Alternatively, we'll ha we abdicate immediately and roll Angels again. You know what? Let's do it. Abdicate again. Uh, let's see, roll angels, buy all, buy all again, grab every grub and upgrade, set that up, go back to buy all, and then back to clicking. Let's see, might be worth going neutral as a bridge to prestige. I'm not sure if, ah, uh, I mean, I, I know the mind flayers are damn good. But they're kind of slow. They're slightly better. Let's see. Normal, neutral, prestige. But you don't have to. I think the strongest early dwarf is fairy dwarves because of the focus on inns. 
Uh, maybe? I remember the fairies being really slow. We could potentially try switching to the Mind Flayers after this one. Because, yeah, this is, this is a little sluggish. Okay, let's just abdicate. Let's try Mind Flayers. Because if I remember right, the Faceless are pretty damn rad. Because I know Brainwave is nuts. Okay, then I'm going to leave on Gem Grinder. Okay. Well, we're at E to the 12. E to the 13. It's going quick. I know these guys have really good mana. I know the Titans are decent for it, too. Now, how do the neutral factions work with the Dwarves? Okay, they don't. Because I just... I see the Underworld Diplomacy. Oh, but I I bet. I bet that only triggers for... Um, I bet that only triggers for... Where's my brain at? For the dragons, but I don't have the dragons yet. Okay. Definitely catches up f faster. So, props to the Mind Flayers... They've got the speed. A little bit more mana would be really nice. But alas. Let's see. Oh, what excavations do we have? We have a couple. I'm going to shoot my shot see if we can get... Ah, I was really hoping I could get those. Alas, we did get a lot of faction coins though. Which, in and of itself, is kind of worth it. Because now we're into the 41s per second. Okay. So we'll hear this as nitro music. Oh, the little, like, uh, the little orb things that go whenever you squeeze them. It really does kind of sound like it, actually. I don't think it's them, but boy, it, it's got the same. It's got the same vibe. I miss Nitro. Uh, did they stop? I, I I know Shell used to listen to them every once in a while, kind of rarely. Or Nitro Nitro is a game. Oh shoot, maybe I'm I'm mixing them up. I have no idea what Nitro is. Well, it is what it is. What is Nitro? Seeing as we're just sitting here waiting. Website and developer. No, I have never heard of any of these. Oh, you know what? Yeah, kind of early uh, early HTML5 style flash game looking things. Yeah, I think I was just too old for them. What was the... Ah, I forget the name of them. That's fine. Yeah, I was thinking of Otomatrome or something like that. Yeah. That's where my brain was. Okay, so I'm going to get up to 1E to the 16th, and then we'll reincarnate and try Titans. See if they go a little faster. Okay, abdicate again. Neutral faction. Let's try Titans. Buy all upgrades. I think one of the big boosts is starting with all those faction coins probably makes the, the Titans a lot more viable. That was weird. It's not letting me buy anymore. Right? Okay. Huh. Uh, did I break it? 
That's weird. What happened? I think I clicked too fast. All right. Let's abdicate. Let's try that again. Titans again. Whatever happened, it's not it's not important. Or no, it just won't let me go past 500. Weird. It's also not letting me cast any spells. No, it's not a buy rate thing. Oh, control works. But yeah, it's... Wait, what? There we go. That was very strange and I have no idea why. Buy a thousand. No thank you. Yeah, the one one reason why I don't really like the Titans at this stage of the game is their mana, mana generation is still kind of bad. And so I, I see why you would think Titans could be really, really good at the moment. But they're kind of hard locked by the their limited mana growth. I'm not terrible, but I, I feel like I'm stuck here. Okay, let's try Druids. So if I remember right, Druids are very much based on... There we go. Druids are all are kind of the idle variant. Grand balance. Increased production in least productive buildings based on the amount of three most productive ones. Or just gem grinder again. Increase farm production by a ton. Because the faceless spit spells like nobody's business. Uh, let's see. Good thing about Titans is, in this case, waiting for them to target pyramids or monastery, then cast lightning plus call to arms and tax collection. I don't think I had the mana for that, though. You can do a number of these. Like, I, I think I, part of it is I don't feel like just waiting there. But also, uh, hey, we've already got the faction coin exchanges. So druids, cl druids clearly have the setup for it comparatively. But y'all are throwing some like really high end tactics at me that I just, I don't want to say I just don't care. Um... But trying to min-max to that degree, I think, is actually going to just frustrate me more than keep me interested. And so I'd much rather just, uh, do other things. Because a lot of those strats seems like they would work a lot better. Uh, a couple of reincarnations in once I have a little bit more mana generation, some better faction coin chance, and so on and so forth. Because right now, I don't have those. And, like, I I've definitely been in this situation before where I get a bunch of... Uh, I, I get a bunch of tips on, like, how to min-max, and then everybody realizes that, like, oh, no, you just can't do it at the moment. And so, you know, the more, uh, endgame strats I get, the more I realize that, like, I'm just gonna lose interest really fast and go play something else. Because prepping to that degree is gonna be so onerous from, like, a content creation perspective, because I'm just gonna be like, alright, and then we wait... And then we wait, and oh, now something's happening, and it's like, nope, and then we're back to waiting. Speaking of, we're back to waiting. However, I think it's, we get most of our progression when Gem Grinder and Grand Balance are both hitting. Do I want to stick it out for both of these? I really wish I, I could actually go for this one. I guess I could manually cast, but that's a pain in the butt. Because yeah, it's way better when Gem Grinder and Grand Balance are hitting at the same time. I'm going to turn that one off. I'm going to try Call to Arms and Grand Balance because I can guarantee that they're both active more often. 
And then after that, I can probably hit a tax, tax, eh, tax collection or two. Otherwise, I don't know. Because, yeah, how expensive is this? E to the 47th. So we're actually getting pretty close. I just have to wait. I guess I should probably buy things. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I've already gone up a tier. Eh, we're still going reasonably quick. I hate when people tell me how to play a game. I had an old roommate that was telling me the most optimal pl optimal way to play Dragon Age and criticized whenever I didn't follow what he said. Never finished Dragon Age because of him. I I did the same thing to Shell before we started dating. She was, uh, I think she did end up winning, but she was going up against GLaDOS. And, oh, I didn't actually use any of my faction coins there, whatever. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's try Dryad again. Or Dryad, Druid. But actually remember to use my faction coins. But she was having a lot of trouble against GLaDOS at the very, very end. And I remember trying to be helpful and like, be like, hey, you know, if you do this and this, uh, you'll get it. But she got very cranky at me and told me to go away instead. And I can't blame her for that. But yeah, I, I will I will often shut down in the face of uh overly overbearing backseating because it's no longer fun for me anymore. Uh let's see. That's usually when I move on to something else. Uh, let's see. Do we want to save up for the faction upgrades? Oh, I can't actually get the heritages for Dwarven and Drow. I guess I could have waited for that one. Otherwise, maybe we roll... Ah, no. Do we roll Goblin at this point? Or do we go back to Angels, because they were actually getting tons of coins? Angels is tempting. Let's go for the, uh... Slight boost here for a moment. Try and rush as much as we can. Oh, and maybe take a peek at my excavations. Well, we got a bunch of excavations, but it didn't... Ah, got me a lot of coins. I'll take it. Okay. Get a big boost here. There we go. Okay, so this one's dicey. Because effectively it'll... If... Uh... If I do this, it's going to build up all the way. And then it's just going to cast down. I, I think this is going to be what I want it to do. Because it'll cast Grand Balance, then Gem Grinder, then Call to Arms. And then just mash tax collection until I'm out. I wonder if actually this this wouldn't be just as viable on the Titans. Just leave it on this setup. That way it just does it automatically for me every time lightning strike triggers. Because it certainly gets me a lot of cash. Yeah, I bet this is the trick. If if I want to go back to Titan, uh, if, if I want to give the Titans another shot, just leave it on on this, and then it should maybe trigger. And if it doesn't trigger, well then, oh well, who cares? Uh, let's see. So what are we at? E to the twentieth. It sounds like a good opportunity. I'm gonna do at least one one more or two more one, uh, one or two more of these cycles. And then we'll go from there. 
So is this the only incremental soup game today? No. Uh, so we're going to do this for at least a little while longer. And then I'm going to switch over to uh, Orb of Creation because I've, I've set up a bunch and I want to get kind of deep into that. I just wanted to get a little further in Realm Grinder today since I had just unlocked Reincarnation. And this way I can actually have things... Uh, I, I can be just grinding away at, at gems between sessions. Because if there's no major new features to grab here, then I can just get as many gems as I can just idly. Because I'm assuming I don't un unlock anything major until uh, Reincarnation 3. Maybe there's other small stuff that I don't know about. Go back to this. Wow. Okay, that's expensive. Never mind. Okay, do we think one more? One more. We'll do one more and then we start over. Okay, R2 has challenges. So at least I probably won't stream a whole lot of Reincarnation 1. Because I think we're just going to be here for a bit. Okay, should be able to get into Dwarf by now. Might take a few minutes though. Yeah. If I'm rolling Angels, I don't think it'll be a problem. into the 22 gems. Ah, but that's going to take forever. I'd rather just keep abdicating over and over and over again. Because my setup is so quick. Yet, it doesn't actually net me a whole lot here. I mean, it does. But at this point, I, I think I'm in a good spot to abdicate. Roll angels. Buy all. Grab all of these upgrades. Because as long as I can get the auto casting going. I guess that'll kind of work. Because I think it still does the priority auto-casting. So once God's hand is off, it'll charge back up again. At least for the moment. There's the dwarves. Didn't take long at all. And then we might want to set up a, uh, a fairy run. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to turn this off for a bit. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna... There. Now they're all going. Okay. Works. Ton of money. And our dwarves are rolling quite well. I'm gonna wait until we get all of the, uh... All of the faction loyalty things. Well, yeah, this this went way faster. And this is why I don't wait to abdicate. If I've made... If I've gone up even just a factor of 10, it's worth it. Uh, let's see. Production of assistance based on the amount of exchanges I have. And excavation cost reduction. Useful. Grab these. I mean, hell, I'm looking at it. I might actually just be able to go up a reincarnation level pretty quickly here if I really wanted to. I don't know how much I'd do. Because I'm already up to E to the 23. I know the last, uh, the last X number of levels are going to be a slog, though. Where was I at last time? I think I could feasibly buy efficient auto casting. It was like in the 60s. I mean, we're already up to E to the 24th, so I, I don't know. I might actually be able to just race re reincarnation level two if we really care to go that direction. Uh, let's see. Oh. I've already bought all of the upgrades. Let's just grab that for even more sp more spicy money. Uh, 
Let's see. What do we think? Yeah, it's going kind of slow. Abdicate immediately. Go angels, but with all of my new boosts. Keep buying all. Those are good. Okay. Still going to take a little bit to get the dwarves, but not actually that much. Okay. Let's grab those. There's the dwarves right off the bat. Starting with 25,000 dwarven coins goes so far. Okay. Reset all of this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And yeah, we can already get almost everything in the thousands. There's planned auto casting, but frankly, I'm just going to leave it as is. All right. Grab those. Big money. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go up as much of a tier. Nope, never mind. Holy shit, the, the planned auto casting nonsense is insane. Yeah, we still don't have enough dwarven gems to get the last one. Never mind, there they are. Cripes. Well, we're already up to E to the 26th. And I haven't even got these yet. There we go. Alright, where are we at? This is a very, very fast reincarnation. Woo, here's a YouTube viewer. Finally managed to catch your stream. How's today going? Good! I woke up incredibly late and then played Risk of Rain and now incremental games. I want to get a hold of my sleep schedule, but that probably won't be for a little while at least. Not until I'm done moving, I think. But it's okay. Well, this is... Gosh, this is working really well. We're already... Yeah, we still went up by... By a degree of... Th uh, e to the... Th Third-ish? Okay. Oh, here's the other thing I should do. We might want to excavate. Because I really want to grab that if I can, but no luck. Now, do I not get more gems here? Because I know somebody was saying that I could get, uh, or somebody, I was looking on the wiki and it said I you unlock rubies from doing ex excavations, but it looks like... Uh, it looks like you only get those rubies once. See, there's no reason not to get the ruby upgrades. Wait, really? Ruby power counts your all-time rubies. You can always reset. Are you sure? Oh no, you're right. So I should actually spend them on something. Oh! Is the first time only discovery, like the first, uh, the first pull per abdication. It's a, oh, it's a 2% chance per abdication. Oh, I get it now. I was wonder I was wondering about that, so I'll keep that in mind. I spend the rubies. Yeah, but what do I spend it on? Because mana regen seems really useful for a couple of things. Probably not that useful for the angels, but probably really good for almost everybody else. Okay, well, we're up to E to the 28th, so let's abdicate again. Uh, yeah, I should have planned on that, but it's fine. And we're almost there. We can reincarnate after this one. Which faction do I roll? 
I have no idea. Change your gem boost. Probably go for the exchange bonus. Only 2%? Ouch. Let's see, fairy dwarves. Nah, fairy dwarves is good if I'm... If I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, let's see. Well, do we want to give the, uh, the titans a shot again? Now that I have a better idea of how to make them busted. And have the, uh, the gems to back it up. Let's give it a shot. Because I should be able to get enough for the conditional auto-casting. Or, no, I think I already have the up upgrade. Perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, but I don't have the maximum mana required. That's the issue with Titans. So even if I have the, the bonus. Okay. I'll just do that for the time being. That's a pain. Okay, I don't... Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe once we have dragons or some other stuff, but I think right now uh, we're better off just going angels over and over and over again because they are by and far the fastest. Uh, one of the fastest. 